Welcome back to Ozarks Live. We are with Taylor Bryson of the Boys Choir of Springfield, and you brought some friends with you. I'll let yeah, you introduce absolutely. them. Yeah, absolutely. So I have Zane Gutierrez and Will Austin, two awesome boys uh, who have been in the Boys Choir of Springfield for a few years. Incredible. And I want to hear a lot about that. Before we get into details about your experience, please tell us just a little bit about the Boys Choir. This yeah. is not associated with school, correct? It is not, no. Okay. So the Boys Choir of Springfield has been around for about 23 years now, and it actually started as a church choir. Okay. Um, um, and then it grew many years and it kind of developed into a Springfield thing. And now we have um, boys from schools all over, um, from Nixa, Ozark, Republic. We also take boys who are homeschooled, who are in private schools and stuff like that. So we bring together a really unique group of people. Yeah. And um, anytime you bring together a lot of boys, it's kind of a, a unique experience anyway. <laughs> I have three and, of them and exactly. I know how that is. So I can only imagine putting a whole choir together. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so you do, you're here because you have auditions coming up. Correct. But let's talk about what happens in the choir. Like, yeah. how often do you rehearse? Yeah, so we meet once a week. We meet Tuesday evenings from 6 to 7.30. And um, we meet during the school year. So our season is um, August-ish through May. And we take all the same breaks that schools take and things like that. So it's pretty much a... It's like a school event, but it's not school related. Well, and that brings me to a question. Can you be in a school choir and also participate with this? Absolutely, yeah. So okay. Will's been, uh, Will goes to my school actually, and he was in choir. He's gonna be in one or two choirs in my school this year and uh, boys choir as well. And so that's actually one of our big goals is to make sure that we are not interfering with other choirs. And in fact, we want people who are in choir so they bring what they know from yeah. their school. And then also, you know, hopefully they bring something from us back to them as well. Yeah, now where would you guys perform? So we perform at a lot of different venues, mostly churches, um, and so, um, yeah, mostly churches, but we also are trying to expand that. Sometimes we do some community outreach things. Mm -hmm. um, this year we're already on the books to sing at a, um, a college basketball game. No way. Uh, things like that. That's yeah. really exciting. Hey, Zane and Will, tell me a little bit about what you love most about this. So yeah, I love um, that I get to meet with boys my age and share the same passion that I have mm -hmm. um, and sharing music that I love. Wow, yeah. Um, I love that I get to be here because like it's, it's something that like some people don't get to do and I feel like special that I can be here with, it's a blessing. with um, yeah. Taylor Bryson and um, yeah. the rest of the people that are there. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Now, do you do anything besides sing in this choir? Like, are they, do they allow you to have any fun? <laughs> yes. yes. Like, tell me about that. Well, sometimes we have um, snacks. Sometimes we go and play on the basketball court. It's um, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and that's, we like have snacks sometimes mm -hmm. if we like do good. And um, we, we, I, I think that he's very generous to do oh, that. Oh, that's saying a lot. <laughs> also, we don't only perform at like churches. We also get to go like basketball games, um, baseball games. So okay. we also so like move like, around. You feel like more a commodity, like yeah, you, part of the community. friends and kind of like a family. And you get to yes. go do things together. That's yeah. so exciting. So tell us about auditions then. Yeah, so we have auditions coming up um, in uh, the end of August and early September. So August 29th and September 5th will be the days of our auditions. Okay. Um, the biggest thing to know about auditions is that you just have to go online to our website. So it's uh, boyschoirspringfield.org mm -hmm. and there's a tab for auditions and you'll sign up for a time there. So it's not like you have to worry about showing up on a certain time. We will communicate beforehand. Okay. And um, yeah, our auditions are fairly simple. They're not anything too involved. Do so you have to you, prepare something ahead right. of time? So I just ask that you can sing row, row, row your boat. So if you can sing row, row your boat, then you're good to go. And sometimes I even make it even simpler than that. You know, if you're nervous or something, I might say, can you do this for me? Do. And if they can do that, congratulations. You've made the boys cry. Okay, I don't think field. I can do that. Well, <laughs> we, won't, we won't make you do it today on the, on the air. Yeah, but my son did have Mr. Bryson yeah. in class, and we loved him. So, Thank I mean, you. you are so good with kids, and no wonder why you guys have so much fun. So, again, tell me the website for people to find more information. Yeah, so uh, it's www boyschoirofspringfield.org and really anything you need to know from that or you can even email me uh, it's taylor at boyschoirofspringfield.org and uh, yeah we're looking to grow we've grown every year yeah. um, since since when I started it was right after COVID and so we only had like two boys who said they were going to come back and this last year when we started we had about 40 oh, and incredible. so we're just going to keep growing and doing uh, we're going to keep doing great things so it's open yeah absolutely thank you guys so much for coming thank on you. and sharing your experience with us sounds yes. like so much fun have a great year Thank you. Thank you so yes. much. We will. Yeah. Uh -huh.